everybody. With you from NFL Live, Jeff Saturday, Damian Woody, Jeff Darlington. I'm Wendy Nix. This most recent draft class, guys, really known for that depth at pass rusher, okay? It was quarterbacks, pass rushers, and next year, it's hard to believe we are already talking about these marquee names at quarterback because there's a lot of them coming out. Uh, so much so that we've heard folks suggest that people will tank for Tua, mm -hmm. uh, the quarterback at Alabama. Mm -hmm. Jeff, is that even – is that even a thing for the guys who play between the lines? Not in this game. I mean, l listen, one player, as, as much as you would like to think uh, the quarterback can affect you, you put him on a bad football team, he's going to become average like everybody else. And so when you start talking about tanking, there, it, it requires too many players, too many good efforts around. All 53 guys have to participate. Everybody has a role. And you've seen this with the Patriots for many years and where they find guys just to buy in it's not about one guy. Now, once you get your guy, once you find that quarterback, you can build around him. But to totally tank and try to rebuild, by the time you can rebuild, your quarterback's gotten beaten up yeah. so poorly, so badly, he can't play because he, he, he just continues to play poorly. The front office, though, can tank. They can find a way to make it. They can find a way. You're not going to convince a coaching staff to try to tank. You're not going to convince they players They can be less aggressive, room, for sure. But you can convince a front office to maybe – Go a little different route. Yeah, I mean, not, Miami, not, yeah not go at the free agency, not go correct. Right, but I think it is insulting to say that a team will tank. The Miami Dolphins are a perfect example. Just because people say that they're not putting together a championship caliber roster, they also understand they have to get out of the purgatory that they've been That's put right. in right. through the salary right. cap, and to do so, you're not going to be the ultra-competitive team. The result of that is usually a very high draft. Well, pick. what's interesting is whether it's Justin Herbert or Jake Fromm or Tua, we, we know going into their, to this season, their final season, uh, we know what comes next as long as they stay healthy. So take health out of it, Damian. Other than that, what would you watch for? What's the one thing you want to see them do in this final collegiate year before they move on to the NFL? Well, I think it's just – to me, it's just all about snaps. You know, these guys, they, they you know, when you talk about a tour, he's had a, ton, he's had a ton of snaps. He's been in a, played in a lot of really big, really big games, national championships down in the SEC. So you want these guys to play, you know, play a ton of snaps, keep developing. And most importantly for me, I want to see him in the moment. Yeah. Because in the NFL, mm -hmm. the, you know, you want to see guys execute situationally in, yes. in big-time spots. So so for all three of those guys that we're talking about, I want to see them execute in the biggest of moments on the biggest of and stages. Think, think about Tua for just a second. I mean, as much as everybody is kind of crowning him with being one and he's going to be – is he didn't play great at the end of last year. He's been banged up in college. All of those things come into play. And by the way, how about we look at Kyler Murray and, Cliff, uh, and Kingsbury this coming up year to see – does that offense really work right. well in the NFL? And can it can it be adapted? If so, I think then Tua, that number goes up. But if it's like it, it tanks, then you, maybe you have concern of is it Tua or from? Yeah. I mean, what, what position do you move guys around? Because maybe the system isn't what you thought it well, would be. Such a good point. Such a good point. It's a copycat league, well, as you know. Well, exactly. We're seeing it this year with Baker Mayfield yeah. and then Kyler Murray. That's right. Mm -hmm. Not only do they hire Cliff Kingsbury, they have the quarterback who can do it too. So, you know, next year, all of a sudden, if it seems like a defensive-centric league, we're not going to be hearing as much about Sean McVay or Kyler Murray. It'll be flipped to the other round. That's right. pocket passers and, and big defensive players. A so. lot can change in a year. We know that. But the, the clock is on. And Las Vegas is on the clock, by the way. So get oh. ready. Hard to believe I'm even saying the words, the 2020 NFL Draft.